I want to do uh, my flashing with the uh, ASUS P6X58D motherboard. Uh, ASUS's motherboards are pretty much all similar in the BIOSes and, and similar uh, procedure uh, on flashing them, especially with the socket 1366 motherboards. Uh, what you need to do first is go to ASUS's website um, and go to the download section. Um, up here is the download tab. You just click on it and it will bring this page up. What you need to do is select your product, which is the motherboard. Select the series, which is mine is a 1366. And I have the P6X58D Premium Motherboard. And then all you do is hit search. This will bring up your OS. You need to select the OS you're, you're running. I am running the Windows 7 64 bit. Search. And it'll bring up every single driver, utilities, everything for your motherboard. What you, uh, up here is that what you want is the BIOS, BIOS history. What this has in it is all the previous BIOSes for the motherboard since the motherboard was made and at the very top will be the latest uh, actually the one up here on the P6X58D premium motherboard is a beta version and usually uh, you don't want to install a beta version especially on flashing your BIOS uh, flashing your BIOS is very risky and uh, if you do something wrong then uh, pretty much your uh, motherboard is a paperweight unless you have uh, unless you get a new BIOS chip that's flashed correctly uh, but uh, anyway, this is the latest and greatest BIOS that's not a beta version. It's the 703 BIOS. Okay, now what you need to do is type in the code, hit submit, and you want to save it. Uh, oh, you can save it anywhere you want to, but I usually save mine to my desktop. You hit save. I've already downloaded it, so I'll go ahead and click yes. It's finished. You can exit. Okay, fellas, I got the file downloaded. You need to unzip the BIOS. Just click on it and drag and drop it. I've already done that. Now, with the SUS BIOS, is you need to rename the the BIOS. Uh, you cannot exceed eight characters in the BIOS name. Now, the dot ROM has got to stay there. You cannot take that out. But everything else has to be less than eight characters. Eight characters or less. Uh, I've already renamed it. What I did, I just shortened the name to P6X58D. Now, you can put your BIOS on anything for the computer to read. You can put it on a CD-ROM, a DVD-ROM, a floppy. But what I prefer to do, and most people prefer to do, is to put it on a flash drive or thumb drive. Now, before you do that, you want to make sure that your thumb drive is uh, has a fresh reformat on it, uh, just so that you eliminate any chances that you're going to have a corrupted BIOS. What you do is just open up your uh, thumb drive and drag and drop your uh, BIOS file. And as you can see, I've already done that. Now your thumb drive is ready to go. Um, next thing you want to do is to reset your BIOS to default settings. And you restart your computer in your BIOS and hit F5 to reset your BIOS to default settings. Okay, after you do that, you need to reset, uh, restart your computer, and enter the tool section of your BIOS. I'll be using my camcorder to show you the next steps. Okay, guys, now what we need to do is hit delete to get into the BIOS. <coughs> okay, now once we're in the BIOS, we want to go over to Tools. Hit Enter. Uh, when you hit Enter, it will uh, access the uh, ASUS Easy Flash 2 utility. This is the preferred uh, utility I like to use. Just hit OK. 
this hit enter and hit OK. And it will load up. Now, you need to select your thumb drive that has your BIOS on it. Mine would be F. Hit tab. And then just use your arrow keys to go down to your thumb drive and hit enter. And as you can see, there is my uh, BIOS. Now, I'm not actually going to flash my BIOS since I've already done it. But all you have to do is hit enter to start the load. And it will erase your old BIOS uh, and reflash to the new one. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, after you uh, flash your BIOS, you want to shut down your computer, unplug it, uh, and let it set for two minutes just to reset your chipsets. Uh, and after that, you just uh, plug your computer back up, turn it on, enter your BIOS, and uh, adjust any uh, of your settings the way you want. And, uh, and, that's, and uh, save your settings, and that's pretty much it. And I hope uh, this has helped helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, comment down below uh, and please subscribe.